I'm Lancelot Oduwa I'm a Nollywood filmmaker. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I'll do that again. Yeah. You made a film called Invasion 1897. Yeah. What's the story of the film? Uh, Invasion 1897 is about uh, the events and uh, series of events that led to the British invasion of the Benin Empire in the year 1897. Uh, before now, when you Google uh, Benin in 1897, you are going to see the, the Benin massacre and uh, the British uh, Benin punitive expedition. But uh, I thought it wise that uh, the other side of the story should be heard. The, the, not just from the point of the victor, let's also hear from the point of uh, the vanquished. And uh, a story that cuts across two continents, uh, some blacks, some white. Uh, of course, the white dominance, uh, the, they have the media, they are more exposed and all of that. So the story has always been from the Western perspective. So as a filmmaker, from that path, and uh, as a top-notch Nollywood filmmaker, I decided that um, I should tell this story. Uh, what so the story is told through the eyes of the Oba? No, the story is told through the eye of, um, of an Edoma, of an Edoma from today, going back in time to uh, bring to the fore the events and series of events that led to the fall of Benin in 1897, the unjustifiable fall of Benin in 1897. So who is in the cast? Uh, we had um, Obavurame, the man that played Obavurame, the new person that I had to introduce for, to achieve visibility. And uh, of course, when people see him now, they just say, uh, Oba and he's, uh, he, 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 there was this acceptance immediately. And uh, also the big stars like Rudolf Walker, like um, Charles Chokivien, like uh, Shegun Arinze, like uh, Paul Obazeli, like Charles Inoje, all of these big stars were all, all in the movie. And why did you make a historical film? Because it's quite unusual in Nollywood to see a film like this. Yeah, um, it was not the first time I made a this one that was set in uh, 1752 AD. And of course, it was just a preparation to this uh, Gagatuan project uh, invasion. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do it again, but if I have my way, there are so much about us, so much stories about our past that need to be told for posterity and for generations yet unborn. So, how is the film going to be released? You're here in London at the BFI at a screening. Oh, the film was released into the Nigerian cinema 5th of December 2014 and it's still running. Um, we have had a lot of international um, call up for the film. Uh, BFI has adopted the film now for the African Odyssey that is happening 7th of February. Uh, I'm on my way to the Pan-African Film Festival in Los Angeles. It's in competition, official selection. Uh, it's also going to have a special screening for children, for, for um, um, secondary school students in, in the US. Uh, it was adopted also by the Smithsonian Institute, uh, celebrating 50 years of African arts with this film and several other institutions and uh, I'll be at St. Andrews University in Scotland uh, to present the film and several other um, higher institutions that the film will be. Uh, when I was making that, I was very particular that um, the, the, the university premiere talks were going to be an integral part of the marketing of the film. And is it possible to get the film in, a, in streamed or on DVD? All right now, no, it's not there, but we are working towards that. I want to make sure that we exploit uh, all areas of uh, um, live theatrical releases like this before we go into streaming and DVD. Definitely before June, it will be sorted out in that uh, regard. Yeah. Uh, just a last question. It's an odd time to ask you, but what's what's the next film project you're working on? <laughs> People keep asking that. Just yesterday, yeah, I was asked that. I'll keep saying the next project remains in Vision 1897 because. I have committed five years to the marketing of this film. So before then, uh, I'm not sure I'm in a hurry to do any other film. Though, um, if, if we are lucky to get some commission projects, because people have seen that we have the capacity to do such a great job, and um, a lot of color people want to go into their community, communal history. Uh, they want to say a lot of things about themselves. So when anyone comes along the way, fine. But for me, 
I want to remain with the vision in the next couple of years. Yeah. And um, how difficult was it having enough budgets to make a film which is which is epic in many ways? Yes, it was 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 uh, was was huge. It was really really difficult. We took four years in production um, from this research script, uh, production, pre-production, and what have you. And then the marketing. We, you know, we're having this huge challenge in Africa really getting the right budget for marketing of our films and all of that. So all those challenges are there, but this job uh, took me quite a lot, took me quite a lot.